What's up guys? Classy Metal here. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe, all that good stuff. Uh, I have an, I guess, an unpackaging, unboxing video for you guys today. And I uh, guess I'm just going to get right into that. What I've got today is a one t-shirt, three CD mystery package grab bag from Gore House Productions. I've done a few mystery boxes from Gore House Productions in the past. It's been quite a while since I've ordered from them, so I was definitely... Uh, way past due on uh, catching up on some of their newer material. I've always been impressed with their uh, mystery boxes and that type of stuff. When I saw that they had these available, I had to go get on board and uh, jump on and uh, grab me one. As I said, it's uh, one one shirt, three CDs. I think that's all that uh, comes in this mystery package, and it's $24.99. I will link it up in the description. That way, if you see something that you like in here and you want to try one out for yourself, you can definitely get on board and, and do that. Uh, I will also, I know, especially with Brutal Death Metal, Grind, and all that type of stuff, some of the band names are a bit hard to pronounce. Some of the album titles are just super long and ridiculous for no reason. I will list the uh, bands mentioned and the albums. if they're, Like for the CDs, I'll list the CD album titles and the band. For the shirt, I'll list the band that's on the shirt, that type of stuff. That way... If you see something you like and you want to kind of check into it a little bit deeper, want to check an album out for yourself, it will be in the description. You can find it and, and do the legwork and go look it up yourself. So I'm just going to rip right into this. I'm going to try to be careful because I know that there's a shirt in here and I do not want to cut my shirt. Hopefully we did not. We've got the package open. With previous orders, they've kind of wrapped the uh, the CDs and stuff inside of it. Like if you order merch, it's like we have a uh, either a little flyer or promo type thing first. That was the first thing that's actually come out. It looks like it has a uh, download code on here, so I will keep that hid. I don't want y'all stealing my download. Just uh, Gorehouse Productions Intestinal Purge 4 or 6. Six. Obviously, I can't read uh, read no Roman numerals today. Uh, it looks to be like a um, compilation, like label kind of sampler type thing. There's some pretty pretty decent stuff on here. I see some party cannon, um, oath of damnations on here, torn the fuck apart. I mean, there's some pretty good bands on here. So I'll definitely uh, probably be downloading, scanning that, and downloading that later. So that's pretty neat that they just threw that little download in there. Uh, package is empty and we'll just get right into this as I said usually they just wrap everything up inside the merch or shirts or whatever and that appears to be the case actually probably smart thing to do there is a uh, party cannon balloon and I will not focus on the balloon there maybe if I cover my face yeah, anyway, you know what the Party Cannon logo looks like. That's pretty neat. Little neat little merch thing to throw in there. There's a patch. Uh, looks, looks like we have a cerebral engorgement patch. So that's pretty cool. There's the three CDs. We'll get into those in just a second. And the shirt. We'll go ahead and sh show the shirt first. On the back, it jammed the wood chipper. And uh, awesome is a torn the fuck apart shirt. Their uh, album, I guess it came out in 2018. Uh, a genetic predis predisposition to violence was a phenomenal release. So pretty stoked to have some uh, some merch from the band now as well. Not something that I'll be wearing to church, but a uh, pretty awesome shirt. As I said, I also had three CDs in this. Uh, the first CD, this is from Japan. Uh, I'm going to butcher this. Euro, Euro Bilanemia with Wriggling Chrysalis, uh, Chrysalis of Metaphysical Grudge. This is uh, an EP. This came out a little while ago. Uh, I think this one's been out for a bit. 2016 is what the uh, copyright says on it. This stuff is nuts. I remember hearing this uh, quite a bit back. I remember I picked up a uh, a bundle from the Bleed Dead and uh, like a shirt, CD bundle and stuff. They were also from Japan. And uh, there was some other stuff from Japan at that time that was really brutal stuff. I remember this being just ridiculous, ridiculous technical 
uh, Brutal Death Metal. I haven't listened to it in quite some time. I, I know I remember it being very, very technical, but it was just nuts. The stuff on this was absolutely insane. So pretty stoked to have this in the collection now. Looking forward to uh, giving it some spins here in the very near future. I'm going to try that name one more time. It was a Eurobalanemia with Wriggling Chrysalis of Metaphysical Grudge. Probably butchered that. As I said, it's going to all be listed in the description. So, because I'm sure I'm not going to do this stuff justice. There's probably going to be some stuff in here that I have no idea what it is. Uh, next up, we have uh, Let Em a Census with Wasteland Chronicles. Uh, this is one that, uh, if memory is serving me correctly, uh, this is obviously also Brutal Death Metal, but I think. If I'm wanting to remember, I know that this has been out a couple of years. I'm thinking there was some pretty neat, uh, like, piano-type stuff going on in this album. I hope this is the right album. Um, but I definitely, my memory is telling me that there was some pretty neat piano stuff going on on this at, at one point. If this is the album that I think it is, and from that artwork I'm, and, and band name, I'm pretty sure... That's what that was, but uh, definitely looking forward to giving this one a listen as well. It's going to be a pretty a pretty brutal afternoon here. I think there's some thunderstorms and stuff moving in, and uh, this brutality of stuff will probably be a good soundtrack to those. So this is uh, Let Them a Census <clears throat> with uh, Wasteland Chronicles. And as I said, I, I'm pretty positive this is the one that had like some uh, some pretty pretty well-performed, well performed, well uh, <clears throat> well done piano intros and that type of stuff, piano passages. Uh, I'm looking forward. I know I thought at the time when I heard it that uh, it was pretty interesting how they were able to incorporate that into such a brutal brutal album. So, And I'm laughing at the third CD. I already know this one. This is a clit gore with stories of a bloody clit. <clears throat> this is the 2018 uh, released either 2018 or 2016. I can't remember. This was originally recorded in somewhere around 2010, 2011. Uh, then they had their their debut full length come out that kind of pushed this to the side and, and as far as uh, a release goes. And this is kind of a compilation. Now it has the uh, stories of a bloody clit on this, but it also has some, uh, I think, some cover songs. And I, I know it was kind of a had some extra material as opposed to just the t three or four song uh, demo. Pretty good stuff. I do enjoy Clip Gore. I mean, it's gore grind, kind of silly, tongue-in-cheek type stuff. But uh, I think it's out of Romania, if uh, if I'm remembering correctly. But pretty stellar stuff. I mean, I'm pretty stoked with this grab bag. I am definitely looking forward to spending some time with these two because they are two that definitely stuck out in my memory from the past that uh that I've already heard before and I did remember enjoying these so especially if this is the one that I that I think it is then uh then I'm super stoked to have that in the collection the shirt was awesome I think this was well worth I mean you got the the three CDs a shirt a patch <laughs> the little party can of balloon and a download 24.99 you can't beat that it will be in the description they have a stellar stellar uh, lineup and discography on, on Gorehouse Productions. You're not going to go wrong doing one of these. They could probably pick out any three albums in their, in their whole discography, throw them in a grab bag, and it, it would be well worth it, in my opinion. I haven't really heard much there that I did not like. So definitely an advocate for this. I think uh, some of you guys that follow this channel will actually uh, really dig this. So I think you need to get in on it now. Support Labels, support bands, that type stuff. Uh, everybody's going through a hard time now, so blow some of those Trump bucks. And uh, if you've got them, I know I haven't got mine yet, but yeah. That's all I've got for today. Uh, Metalhead Box should be here today, uh, tomorrow or the next day. I have a pretty stellar little 10 CD bundle that I picked up that should be coming in here pretty soon as well. I have some other stuff trickling in. So the content will still be there. I'm feeling much better, if you can't tell. So that that's also... Uh, a great thing. So that's all I've got. Stay classy, stay metal, stay safe, and I will see you all very soon. I promise.